Greetings. I was fascinated this morning when I woke up in that I was directed to the Bible. That doesn't happen very often in my life anymore. There maybe was a time when I was saturated with Bible reading and memorization and things like that. But in recent years, I have liberated myself or been liberated from trapping God in a box or a book. Uh, yet there are times, as, a, as this morning, that I am directed to a scripture or scriptures that were hidden in my heart a long time ago. And what I was directed to specifically uh, is found in uh, Hebrews chapter 8 and Jeremiah chapter 31. And it talks about the new covenant. And so the title this morning is Our New Covenant and the End of the Old World Order. In the New Covenant, what we call God, Great Spirit, whatever word we want to use, what the, whatever the divine is to you, whatever name you'd like to apply, the name is not significant, but Creator is a good word. First Cause is another good, good word. Or if you want to use God and you're comfortable with that, that's a good word too. But I'm, I'm wanting to get, get past the discomfort of, a partic of any particular word so that you can understand a spiritual principle that is being driven home for me this morning in my meditation and from the moment of awakening. In this new covenant, it is promised that the prime creator would at some point write his, her laws in our heart. And we wouldn't any longer need to be taught by some external teacher saying, know God, know the Lord, for every single one of us from the least to the greatest would know God would know the truth, would know the divine. It would be an intimate relationship no longer requiring any external world order of priests, of Bibles, of Korans, of any sacred scripture, the Bhagavad Gita, anything that we externally rely upon now, now in this new relationship with our Creator we would each know God intimately by ourselves. Every one of us, again, from the least to the greatest. As I have meditated on this this morning, as I went actually to the scriptures and read them, again, the 8th chapter in the book of Hebrews in the New Testament and the 31st chapter in the book of Jeremiah, Hope, once again, not even hope, I mean it's beyond hope, just a knowing that this is the time that this is happening. All over the world in this ninth wave as the underworlds are opened, as the way that we have created our world in the past through ignorance and unconsciousness is all shifting. Now we are creating through consciousness and it's the consciousness of the new covenant being awakened and blossoming within each of us. It's what I've referred to in the past as the flame of freedom that's burning everywhere. We're not satisfied anymore to have some external authority tell us what we can and can't do, what we must or must not do. Now it is, it is within us to know that, that the way it has been is not the way it's going to keep on being. Things are changing, things are moving into newness. And for you Christians that think that you've got to stay trapped in the Bible and that new age is something foreign to your religion and something satanic even, 
Wake up. Look at your own Bible. In the Old or New Testament, it doesn't matter. Look at what is promised, that God would pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And old men would dream dreams, and young men would see visions, and everything would change. We would know spirit intimately and personally, going beyond all of our religious trappings and entering into a new spirituality. And this is not something being done by any Luciferian spirit, if you will, although the Luciferian spirit has played a role in all that has happened. Bear that in mind, that everything is of God, Without him, nothing is made that is made. Read your own Bible. Nothing is made that is made. Nothing. Nothing is outside of God. It never has been. Never could be. That's a lie we've told ourselves, a lie we've believed, and we've created unconsciously a world in which lies have separated us one from another. But that separation has been our teacher. It has taught us many lessons. Now we're at the, not even at the threshold, we've already entered into the new covenant if we choose to. And even if we don't choose to, there's a tipping point coming, there's that eternal and cosmic aha moment that's coming sometime this year. I'm looking for it to happen sometime this year that's going to click even in the greatest or the people that think they're the greatest, the elite. It's going to happen in the rulers of the world, perhaps the British monarchy, perhaps the US presidency, perhaps the presidency or the prime minister of other countries, or if there's still kings and queens somewhere and, and, and chiefs of tribes or whatever, all of a sudden in every heart is going to be written this new covenant where everyone will know God beyond the names, beyond the words, beyond the trappings, beyond the traditions, beyond the, the rituals and the rudiments of religion, beyond the scriptures, beyond all of the things that we have used in the past in the old world order to divide ourselves one from another. And we're going to be able to finally recognize the divine in each other, which is what Namaste means. East is going to merge with West, North with South, masculine with feminine. There will be a divine marriage of the soul that takes place within each of us. This is the new covenant. Behold, said the one who sat on the throne, I make all things new. So if you're hanging on to the old time religion, whatever that old time religion means to you, let go of it. I'm admonishing you by the voice of spirit. Let go of it. There is a new covenant. Look within you. Look within your own heart, within your own soul, within your own being to the voice that never lies, that always tells the truth. And what does it say to you? Well, here's what it says to me. My son, you are infinite. You are eternal. And all your dreams, all your visions, all your hopes, all your aspirations, all your goals, everything you've ever longed for, everything you've ever wanted, it's all within you. It's always been within you. Stop looking to someone else to give it to you. It's within you. You are the one that the world has been waiting for. Your world has been waiting for you to wake up and remember who you are. Your world has been waiting for you, and only you can change your world, for only you can allow the change in perception that's necessary, looking within and allowing spirit to write the truth on the fleshy tables of your heart so that you become the truth. You become as the masters were, as the prophets were. You become that which you have always sought from others. You become that. I become that. We together enter into the new covenant, ending the old way of doing things, ending the old time religion, putting it to death on our cross and letting it be nailed there so that we might rise in newness of life. Look at your Bible, you that are Christians. Wake up. This is the time that all things 
are being made new. This is the time of the new covenant. This is the time of the awakening. This is the time where spirituality takes new meaning that goes beyond everything that we've ever known. This is the time when the, when the evolution of our consciousness creates a political and, and economic revolution in the entire world where we get to change the world to make it one that serves us, where forgiveness is blanket, where we forgive those that have trespassed against us. We forgive our debtors even as we are forgiven by our debtors, where there is a new year of Jubilee proclaimed, and I'm proclaiming that new year. The Spirit of God is upon me, for He has anointed me to give you the good news. It's in you. That's the good news. It's in you. You don't need to even listen to me, except I'm awakening you. Don't follow me. I'm not your guru. Gee, you are you. You are the one you've been waiting for. It's not external. You don't have to take direction from somebody else. It's within you. It's within me. It's within all of us. You want the truth? This is the truth. It's in you. All of the divine is in you. All of the humanity is in you. All of it. All of it. All of it. For all have sinned and all are being transformed now. Now. Now, what does sin mean? We've been ignorant. We've been in unconsciousness. We fell short of remembering and of knowing. That's being erased. Take, take out a, the big cosmic eraser. Erase all of that unconsciousness. It's time to awaken. Now we bring justice to the planet. Now we bring peace to the planet. Now we restore that which has been lost. Who does it? We do it. How is it done? By grace through faith. It's within us. It's within us. This is the message Spirit is giving me to share with you this morning. I drew one of the Zen Tarot cards this morning, something I rarely do. It's probably been at least three or four weeks since I drew the last one. What did it say? Sharing. Sharing. Spirit wanted me to share. That was the message in the meditation room. Ron, share what I'm telling you. Share what I'm putting in your heart, what I'm putting in your mind. Share it. Share it with your brothers and sisters. Tell them the truth. This is the day of liberation. This is what's happening in this time with the three eclipses in a, in a month's period of time. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. It's all coming together. It's all converging now. It's all being made new inside of us. Inside of us. Wake up. You that sleep. You that have been holding on to the old. Let go. There is a new world order. And this is a spiritual world order. This is an order of peace. Not of domination. Forget the domination that they're trying to scare us with. Forget that. We are more than conquerors because of what's inside of us. We have already won the battle. It is ours. We have conquered our own ignorance. We have conquered our own fear. We have conquered our own separation consciousness. And we know now the universal consciousness that based on truth, that we are all one together in our creator. We are one creation, rejoicing and celebrating life and love, and laughter, and the light of truth, bursting forth as the eternal flame of freedom within us. It's a beautiful thing, folks. It's a beautiful thing. This is our day. Today, today is our day. I love you, and so does God. So does Spirit. The God and the Goddess are bringing forth the new creation through us and within us. Namaste. Thank you for listening.